right there, that is the new car. We're obviously in the X3M right now. Kiebert McNubert is down there in her bed somewhere. Kenzie's currently driving it. What, what kind of car do you guys think it is, you know? I, this is not a car I definitely think I'd bring in the channel, but our collection of cars is definitely growing. All right, so right there, you can see it is a true 1M clone, real 1M front bumper, fenders, everything is completely done and molded. What do you think, Kenzie? I love this car. So there you have it, true 1M, got the whole quad exhaust as well, both working. Colorado N5X, what do we got here? What in the entire world? 1M, 135, 128. What do we got here, man? An M3, 335. This is hands down probably the fastest stock turbo car in all Colorado, though. Come on. Sick. The purple's gotta go. This is ridiculous. Holy oh, shit, almost just died. What's going on, guys? <laughs> we're starting off the video. As you can see, we're at the warehouse right now. We got the 135. And even Mike's M3 over there. This video is going to be about the 135 pretty much. But yeah, let's get to it. You guys can see it looks a million times better in the daytime. Has everything LCI. So LCI taillights. Obviously the true one end rear bumper. Quad exhaust. We have the rear fenders. Everything was molded properly. This car was black before. But got painted original red the guy who actually painted this um that's mike with his new car the guy who actually painted this car is actually the guy who uh, painted part of my m3 uh my f80 m3 and he basically is phenomenal when it comes down to paint work so uh i think if i remember correctly he paid close to about 12 grand for the paint job on this car and obviously the whole uh flaring it and that's mike there you go. Realistically, the only thing that I plan on doing to this car is just cosmetically. So I do want to put on a spoiler at times, but I feel like a spoiler might be too much. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do a spoiler or a trunk, but the interior does need a little bit of love, um, which is what I want to do. So at the moment, it currently has this carbon fiber wrap, uh, some ugly camel wrap and carbon fiber. Changing this to Alcantara, as you guys know, we sell it on Colin5x.com. Don't mean to plug it so hard, but you know, we sell it. We're gonna do Alcantara with probably red stitching or whatever color thing we do. All right, Mike's about to do a little donut. Alex, all right, man, what do you think? Do you think he's gonna crash it right now? Well, it took too long to the, talk, so let's see what's gonna happen steering. right now. I think, I think he might. why is she still talking? I think because of the power steering issue, I think he might crash because I literally can't even pack out. Oh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, they just bought it, but the power steering pump, I think, is just dead because it just does not work no, there's like, definitely power when you're steering. driving it works but then if you're like reversing or like trying to leave you're like mm, like i'm sore yeah this doesn't work so what's gonna happen right now is mike's gonna crash why are you still talking why are you still talking yeah. kenzie why are you still talking do, do you Shut think you're cool <laughs> honestly you're on a skateboard <laughs> off get out of here <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> you think i'm scared of you <laughs> oh my god damn oh you're looking thick all right, Mike grew some balls and he's about to do a burnout. Man. We got it. These tires had too much tread on them. Let's we'll change them. We're going to burn them out? In reverse, about we? too. I'm going to go in reverse. Oh, my God. All right, Pete, this car. Mike, just don't crash it. I got to figure out how to turn the traction off. This. Traction off. Right? Come on, buddy. I pressed it, right? Yeah. We're good? DCC, yeah. I don't have to confirm it or anything? Um, No, you shouldn't be able to. Click it all the way. Hold it for like three seconds. I guess that's not an option here. Just right. hold it once and... Yeah. All right, cool. It's not like your 335. Oh, Tesla truck. Just kidding. That's not even a Tesla truck. We're going to get rollers of this truck. <laughs> to a burnout. He's about to honk and scare the fuck out of me. Told you. All right. Yeah, Mike needs to get a little reckless here. Um, yeah, Mike, you need to get a little reckless here. Do you think he'll be successful? Great response, Alex. Honestly, f off. He's a little too far away. Honestly, Mike, that was very, that was very weak. Yeah, Mike, you can't be that far away, boy. Thought he was gonna do a burnout. 
or a donut. Ah, oh, come on, man. There you go, Mike. He finally grew some balls. Brian, do you want to see the video of your running? Yeah, what did I do? <laughs> that shot. Yeah, that was actually me during the burnout the whole time. I got a great video. I actually did a burnout instead of you. What do you think of the car? Do you like it? I mean, yeah. I've loved it for a year. Okay, so we're probably gonna leave it auto for a bit. And then maybe in the summertime, or we're gonna message Mike, see how much he wants for all the manual stuff, because Mike is the one who owns all the manual stuff to make this manual. We just need the foot assembly. And then I think manual on, we probably just, at that point, just probably put an upgraded clutch, because why not? Holy shit, Boba is f***ing lightning fast. God damn, Boba. What are you, f***ing Sonic the Hedgehog? What the hell just happened? Oh man, we're about to get here. <laughs> yeah, Mike's about to get his car fucking totally squashed. Look at that. What the hell? Just out here, dude, filming our cars, man. This is not expected at all. Hey guys, so I'm driving the 335 home. Obviously, this is not a stock screen. I don't know what kind of screen this is. It's it's one of those Aid Vian. I don't even know. It has a lot of options. This is the coolest setting, so I just left it at that. Ignore that half check engine light. This is part of owning an N54. What this is is pretty much. I believe it's the throttle body that's failing. I could be really wrong. I think it is a T-MAP sensor. I brought the team. I brought a new T-MAP sensor, the 3.5. These sometimes go bad, and when they do go bad, it, it's such a headache. Right now, the car just turned off on me in the middle of traffic, in the highway, so that's not nice. But we got the 3.5 bar. We're driving back to the house. We're about like two minutes away. <sighs> Picasso. All right, guys. So we did the throttle body. So check it out here. The, this is the uh, the new one or the old one. The new one's installed already, as you can see. But that did not fix the issue. So we think that it has something to do with the wiring back here. Um, the wiring right here is extended because this uh, damn forward-facing manifold. I don't know what the issue is, but it's probably somewhere in the wiring. So tomorrow we're gonna go ahead. I didn't really film any of this because it's kind of a boring video, so I don't want to do that. So tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and mess with the wiring and hopefully we can fix the throttle body because it sounds like I have an LS. We're not gay in this channel. So we're trying to make this the way it's supposed to be like a BMW. So that's the plan. We got a lot of little things here and there, but thank you guys. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments for the 135. But we expect a lot of content with this 135 since we got an E-Series now. We got the Black 335, which I have not updated you guys on, but it's pretty much like my older Black 335 that was featured on that racing channel. But it's completely different, similar, different, but it's better. Anyways, peace out, guys. <laughs>